Uh, my name is Yosef, and this is the first exercise in the Practicing Functional JavaScript series. Uh, this is the repository where you can find these exercises. And if we go down to the exercises section, uh, we can see that Hello World is our first problem. So I'll switch over to my editor now. And under Source Exercises Hello World, within the Hello World directory, let's take a look at the README to see what this problem is. All right, so this is the classical introductory programming exercise. Uh, we just say, hello world. Our objective is to write a function that returns the string, hello world. All right, and we have one test where we're calling hello, and we're expecting this function, hello, to have a return value of a string, hello world. All right, I'll run the test now in watch mode. All right, and um, so actually let's start with a blank slate. And we'll actually begin by writing a type signature for the function. So this is using the Hindley-Milner type system, which is the standard type system used in uh, most functional programming languages. Um, if you'd like to learn more about that, please uh, check out the README for this repository. All right, so I'll write the, the signature in a comment. And it will be uh, a function, hello, which um, from no input. So I'm not sure if this is technically a function. It's more like a constant. Uh, but it's going to return a string. All right, so I'll define it now. And hello will be a function that returns the string hello world. And let's make sure to export it so we can uh, fix our hello is not a function error. All right, what did I forget? Um, oh, I did not spell hello correctly. OK. All right, so we have our, our passing test. We've solved the problem. Uh, but we do have a linting error here. All right, so functions must have at least one parameter. So this is kind of hinting at what I was saying before. I wasn't really sure if this should be called, technically be called a function. Uh, one way that we can solve this is using an external library, one way that we can fix this. And so we'll use uh, a functional programming utility library called Ramda. So, and the function that we'll use from this library is called always. So always returns a function that always returns the given value. It's also known as constant. All right, so it takes one parameter, the value, and returns a function that when called, when, when invoked, returns the value. All right, so let's see what this looks like. I'll import. Um, always. Oh, I'm, this is not how you import. Import always from Ramda. Uh, and then I'm going to remove uh, this function and we'll just call always with hello world instead. And let's see if this still passes. All right, still passes. Um, and um, so now we can see that there's no longer the, the linting error because uh, this functionality, this constant, has been abstracted away to this external library. And all we're doing is calling the, the function, which we'll, we'll see in, in another exercise how this, can, um, how this can be composed with other functions. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. This was the first exercise. Uh, please check out the repository if you have any questions or you'd like to discuss this further. Uh, thank you.